Today I wanted to come on and talk about a post-run stretch routine. For me, this has massively helped with my recovery after running. I used to be really complacent with this. I would never stretch at all. I'd do a tiny bit before I ran and then I'd come home after the run and pretty much just leave it and not do much. And I'd often get doms and feel rubbish for my next run. But since I've started implementing this routine, which takes about eight to 10 minutes, it's really, really helped me massively with the recovery, the motivation, and also doms. So I'm much more motivated when I go into my next run because I just feel better, I recover quicker, and also I don't get anywhere near the same amount of DOMS. If you like this type of content, please like the video and I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of this and talking about how you can improve your running, improve your recovery. I'm gonna review lots of running gear and I've also got a vlog about me training for a 100 mile ultra marathon turn a drum kit, but I'll tell you a bit more about that later. So in this stretch routine, we're gonna cover the calves, the hamstrings, the quads, and the glutes. That's the main things that I stretch after a run. That's what I feel really needs doing. So let's jump straight into it, shall we? So our first stretch is going to be a simple calf stretch. And this, we're gonna use a wall to help us do. So I want to stand about three to four inches away from a wall, both feet in front of you, put your hands on the wall, and then put one leg back into a lunge position. From here, I want you to make sure that you keep both heels planted into the floor. You wanna try and keep your feet as flat as you can. It's really important not to lift your heel because that will take off the stretch. So once you're in this lunge position and your heels are planted firmly on the floor, what you're gonna do is you're gonna push your hips forward into the wall while keeping your back straight. You can almost just lean into the wall, but what you wanna avoid is rounding your shoulders and hunching into the wall because that's not gonna stretch it. So. Once you push forward, you'll start to feel the stretch in your calf. So don't push it too much, just push until you start to feel that almost tightness, that slight pulling, and then hold it there for 30 to 40 seconds. You're gonna do this twice on each leg. Okay, so our second stretch is going to be for the lower calf. I find that if you're doing long distance running, this can really help loosen it up because often you'll get tightness in the bottom of your calf and a normal calf stretch can sometimes not get right down there. So what you're gonna do for this is you're gonna stay in this lunge position, but you're gonna be stretching your front leg rather than your back leg. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stay in that position and you're gonna try and touch your knee to the wall. You want to leave your front foot planted, leave that heel planted, get that knee as close to the wall as you can, but you can slightly raise your back foot to put more pressure onto that front leg. With this, I don't hold this for as long. What I do is I hold it for three to five seconds and then I'll do sort of five to 10 reps of that on each leg, depending on how tight it feels. Often, the longer the run, the more reps I will do. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the hamstrings. So the first one is gonna be a standing hamstring stretch. So if you stand with your legs shoulder width apart, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna essentially bend over and reach for your toes. Now, it's key to keep in mind not to just grab your toes, because what happens there is lots of people will just grab their toes and they'll just really extend their shoulders and sort of hunch over, and that doesn't really help. So if you keep a very slight bend in your knees, and you suck your belly in and focus on rotating through the hip, you'll find that you get a much better stretch in the hamstring than if you just reach for your toes. You don't have to grab your toes. Often I will hold onto my calves in this position because I feel that I can pull my chest closer to my knees and that gets more rotation, which increases the stretch on my hamstrings. For this, I will hold it for 30 to 40 seconds and I will do that twice. But yeah, if you really focus on that rotation through the hips, that will really get a good stretch in your hamstring. So continuing with the hamstrings, we're gonna do another stretch. And this one is gonna be a seated hamstring stretch. So I feel this is really good for evening out your hamstrings. I often find when I do the standing hamstring stretch, I get a little bit more stretch in the right hamstring. So I often do the seated one as well so that I can make sure I get enough in the left just to match it up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit down on the floor. You're gonna put one leg out at a 45 degree angle. 
and you're going to have a slight bend in your knee and then with your other leg you're going to bend it and place the foot against the knee of the straight leg. This is called the half butterfly. From here you're going to sort of reach for your toes again but you want to make sure that you keep a straight back. So don't focus on just reaching for your toes, focus on sucking your belly in and getting that rotation again. Try and move your chest to your knee and make sure that you feel that stretch in the hamstring rather than just rounding your back. The more you round your back, the less of a stretch you're going to get. If you can make sure that you rotate your hips, really push your chest down into your knee, keep your back straight, you'll get a good stretch in the hamstring. I hold this for 30 to 40 seconds, take a rest, do the other leg, and then I'll do both legs twice. So that's the hamstrings done. So immediately after the hamstrings, I jump back up and then I will do the quads. So you may want to do this next to a wall to help with stability. So what you're going to do is you're going to stand close to a wall and you are going to lift the leg that is furthest away from the wall and grab it with the same hand. So if the wall is on your left, you're going to lift your right leg and you're up to your bum and you're going to grab it with your right hand and you can put your left hand on the wall to stabilize yourself. From here, you want to make sure that you stand up as tall as you can push all your weight through the left leg to keep you up make sure you keep your heel planted and if you can try and splay your toes that will help you stay stable and then from there you're going to push your hips forward drive your right knee towards the ground and pull your foot towards your bum hold this for 30 to 40 seconds and then swap to the other leg and repeat both legs twice if you do need more of a stretch, you can hold it with both arms and you can get a little bit more. But for me, it took me a good six to eight weeks to get to the point where I could do it without holding onto a wall. It's sometimes you need to get that balance. But yeah, so that is what I use to stretch the quads. And then the final stretch will be for the glutes. So for the glutes, I lie down on the floor and on my back and then I lift my knees up so that my feet are still flat on the floor but my knees are in the air and then we'll do the right glute first so I will lift my right leg and I will place my right foot behind my left knee. From there you're going to grab your right knee and you're going to pull it to the opposite shoulder so you're going to pull your right knee to your left shoulder. From here if you also pull your left knee out so that it pulls your pulls your right foot a little bit you'll get more of a stretch you can play around with how wide you put your left leg to get that stretch and i often find that this one you can progressively pull over time i stay in this one for a lot longer i stay in this one for closer to two minutes on each leg but i will only do each one once and i often find that i will pull quite tight, get a good stretch, and then relax for a couple of seconds and then pull tighter again. And often I can progress. And where I start the stretch is nowhere near where I finish. I can get a lot more flexibility out of that through those two minutes. And that is it. That is all the stretching that I do. And then I will go, I will do this immediately after running. So as soon as I get back, I will often grab a banana and eat that whilst I'm walking to where I'm gonna stretch. I really quickly eat that banana and then I do all these stretches straight away and then I'll jump straight in the shower. And often I will do all the standing stretches again in the shower, but I won't hold them for anywhere near as long. I just sort of go around them, make sure everything's feeling okay. And then for the rest of the day, I just make sure I'm moving about a bit just to get a little bit of blood flowing through the muscles and that really helps with the recovery. I really hope this routine helps you. If you're very new to stretching, just take it really slowly take it easy just get to that little point of stretch and just just hold it there just wait and just sit there and you will progress over time and in six to eight weeks you'll be surprised with the amount of flexibility that you build up hopefully this routine helps you as much as it helps me thank you very much for watching i really would like it if you like the video and subscribe to the channel it'd be great to have you along as i said i'm going to be doing lots more videos like this and reviews and things like that so if you like that type of content please subscribe and then i also have the training vlog which is going out on every sunday which is focusing on me running a hundred mile ultra marathon whilst towing a drum kit which is going to be pretty mad and it's slightly terrifying but also extremely exciting so if you would like to follow along that that'd be great i'm doing that challenge for cardiac risk in the young which are an incredible charity Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.